There are dots like banking and you can see that something's not right. But when you connect the dots between apparently unconnected people and, and situations and organizations, that's when the tapestry appears and you go, whoa. So that's what's happening. It's the age of astronomy. True. It's the age of astrology. Talk. It's the age of wicked science, modern day technology. Right. It's the age of ancient wisdom right. they got from Solomon's temple. Uh -huh. They won that Babylon kingdom uh -huh. just to establish their system. What? It's the age of mathematics. Uh -huh. It's the age of quantum physics. Yep. It's the age of dark and mystic mm. they got from random psychics. Oh. It's the age of apocalypse yep. when the full moon on eclipse. It's okay. And we all on microchips. Uh -huh. It's the age of artificial yep. intelligence that's official. Yep. They building superhuman. So, following up on my yesterday's video, let's talk Zen because people seem to be missing this small piece about this cryptocurrency. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Let's get right onto it. Now, Zen, what people seem to be missing about Zen, I think, is this right here, right? Since Zen launch, Jack Levin said, we saw about 500k users come to the web app, 150,000 users claim their Zen C rank about seven times, meaning that they have used seven different wallets on average for about 1,125,000 times. The rate of adoption is absolutely crazy. And to me, people are looking at the Zen price talking about it's designed to go to zero but they're missing out on this right here. And this is what amazes me. Exhibit A, Richard Hart, uh, Rage Marketing, you know, he designed a great cryptocurrency hex, 10,000 X, made a ton load of people, millionaires and multi-millionaires. And then he decided to rage market, you know, buying these outfits, twerking, doing all kinds of weird stuff on the internet to get people's attention, but he couldn't. And he failed at his marketing, rage marketing, whatever you call it, right? But how did Jack Levin pull this one off so fast? To me, is this right here. Look at how many chains Zen then launched on, you know. Global rank on Ethereum alone are 4,624,597, right? There is Zen is on Ethereum, it's on Binance Smart Chain, it's on Polygon, it's on Avalanche C, it's on Ethereum Power, Moonbeam, Evermost. Look, man. This is how you do it. This is how you market. Uh, people are talking about, for example, animal farm marketing. They're talking about hex marketing from Richard Hart. Jack Levin, in my opinion, he pulled it off and that was absolutely brilliant, bro. That, that This is crazy. He literally showed Richard Hart that uh, you don't have to try to onboard people outside of hex or whatever. To, to reach adoption. You can do it with people who are already in the crypto space. And because look, if you think about it, retail has left already, but every single bull market, every four year cycle, my OGs know this, retail leaves crypto at the top. Euphoria phase, soon as we start dropping, crypto is going back down, cryptocurrency is a scam, articles start coming out, news, everything goes into chaos, retail leaves. But who stayed this time is the people using the Binance Smart Chain, people who are transacting in the Polygon Chain, people who are transacting on Avalanche right now, Ethereum, ETH Power, and those people who are transacting on a daily basis, this is who Jack Levin tar targeted. So you don't have to get audiences who are outside of your reach to, to, to try to onboard them and that. Like you can just use people who are using the chains and they are gonna bring the rest over. Come over here and mint some free Zen for about a few hundred days. And there you have it. People are onboarding this free cryptocurrency. So it wasn't about the price in the first place, but um, it started from zero. Hopefully one day it will have some value and you can sell it. That's it, it's just another cryptocurrency. But this is, in my opinion, this is what people have been missing on. Just the rate of adoption and how fast this thing got adapted is just brilliant. It's crazy. Jack, his marketing moves are just crazy. If you're narrow minded, you're not going to get the likes of Zen. Like he just made a great tweet here about Elon Musk, where he says tribalism always threatens the original thinkers who go against the grain. And yeah, always try to think outside the box, sometimes go against the grain and see where this takes you. 
This one says in just two weeks, Zen Protocol received 20 minute blockchain transactions. So you let me know which crypto project that you have been for the past year, especially in DeFi, that marketed themselves better than Zen. Any, you wanna, any protocol in DeFi right now and any cryptocurrency, including Hex or even some of these top layer ones. But Zen brought something new to the table and already the their rate of adoption is almost 10 times as fast as whatever Richard Hart tried to do or something. And yeah, I think Richard should have done this a long time ago. Uh, Hex would have been at a certain price if he did this try to onboard people from other chains to, to, to come into hacks and that like what Mr. Jack Levin here did. And who knows, one day it could pay off. I did a lot of 400 uh, day stakes with Zen. And if it's done, I'm gonna do another 400 day stakes just to see where this goes, man. Uh, you mint it with your gas fee, completely free. One day it could be worth something. If it's not worth anything, it was worth a try. It's just another cryptocurrency project. Uh, I'm not a Zen influencer by any means. I always say it on this channel, I'm a crypto maxi, which means I'm pro DeFi, pro crypto only. I say that because there's a lot of people outside of crypto who do traditional stock marketing and they think crypto is a scam and, and, and that, you know, that's for those naysayers who always say, you know, crypto is no good for society and all this other crap. But that's why I always say, man, I'm a crypto maxi. I'm, I don't want to conform myself to Cardano only or Bitcoin only or altcoins only or, um, you know, I like layer ones, but there's also DeFi. There's also the passive income route. There's, you know, so many ways you can make money in crypto is the tools are there that's it that's what i'm saying the tools are there for you to utilize and get yourself some bread in crypto and i believe it's possible man one day in the future soon we're gonna all look back and say hey well, well we achieved something we accomplished something in our lives and that was through cryptocurrency with that being said what are your thoughts on zen where do you think the supply is gonna go up to before it stops or the minting slows down the stakings slowing down and somehow here's another thing zen what if they implement some burn mechanisms in the future you know how he's helping all of these chains run because let face it if you go to um defi llama and that they will give you the statistics that all of these chains polygon binance smart chain you know people who were using them the users were going down but with zen it started to go back up so zen is benefiting every single chain in crypto that it is long running on so maybe one day they're gonna you know say hey we're gonna do some buyback there's rumors that binance is you know have 19,000 Zen wallets or something that one day if they decide to do some kind of burn buybacks or give back to the community or whatever, it could actually decrease the supply. You never know. I don't think this is going to inflate into a oblivion, into infinity. So that's just my unpopular opinion. Let me know in the comment section below. Below, what are your thoughts on Zen? Do you think it's going to go? back to 0 0.01 cents or one cents or even 10 cents some people out there talking about a dollar zen <laughs> good luck but yeah you never know with that being said like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out